Hey, this is Digital by Computing, and today we're going to talk about affinity rules in a VMware vCenter environment. Let's check it out right now. What affinity rules does, it actually has control. You can put controls in place about where your VM should sit and where your VMs should not sit in terms of hosts. I can actually put an affinity rule in place. All right, I'm going to say affinity rule. That says VM2 is only allowed to sit on host one. Host one only. So this means that this VM is not allowed to move. But if I try to vMotion this VM off host one onto host two, it will not let me. It will actually give me a warning saying that the affinity rule is, is getting breached essentially because there is an affinity rule in place that is tying this host, this VM, to this host. So it will not allow me to do that. So that is really, in a nutshell, what an affinity rule can do. The other things that affinity rules can do very, very well is let's, let's just create another thing here. So I've got another VM. And this is, um, let's see, web. And this is SQL. All right, I've got two servers here, a web server and an SQL server. I can create an affinity rule that says that both of these must stay together. So now I've got here a DC, DC1 and DC2. This is a domain controller. Domain controller one, domain controller two. The reason I've got two, really, in most scenarios, is if one goes down, two is still operational, and I can still you know, access AD and still be authenticated on my network and have access to DNS and all those sort of things. So there could be a rule in place that says, well here, we're gonna say must not. So these two must not stay together. The reason is, is if I've got this DC2 VM sitting on this, on this host, and this host goes down, what happens? I lose both of my domain controllers at once. The whole reason I want redundancy, and I want two of them, is so that if one goes down, the other one can still service my network. If they're both on the same host, you lose both of them. So you create a rule in place that says, DC1 must not sit on the same host as DC2. So that's in a nutshell what affinity rules are. They are a great technology for you to use inside your VMware environment, especially if you are constantly doing vMotioning or even if you have DRS enabled, have your affinity rules in place. They are a must to have, they help you better control your environment. But that is my summary. I would love it if you commented below and we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.